guys, welcome to our channel. I just wanted to shoot a quick video to share with you guys how we've been injecting some more Ayurvedic solutions into our hair care and skincare regimen. I flashed this on Instagram and some of you said that you'd be interested in seeing how we use it with full details. So, in the effort of following directions, here I am to provide you with full details. So, what I'll be doing today, it's my wash day and I wanted to try something different and my hair has been a little bit off track so I want to get it back on track. I am going to be using my Radico Organic Hair Treatment Powder. Now it says on here that this is a hair wash and treatment so I'm going to completely skip the step of washing my hair and use this only. It says it's 100% organic fruit and seed powder. I picked this up when we were on our trip to Kenya, but this is actually a product that's made in India. To tell you a little bit about it, and I'll flash it here, we did include this in our Kenya haul video, but um, like I said, it's made in India. A couple of things to know about it. Um, I'm going to just read this straight. So it has Amla, Rita, and Shikai Kai Mix Powder. It's intended to be used as a hair treatment for conditioning. It should give your hair a natural shine and luster. It's chemical free and the herb powder is widely used for anyone who wants to get these benefits from natural ingredients. There are no synthetic chemicals. It nourishes your hair, restores shine and luster. It, you should do a sensitivity test before use. Definitely do a sensitivity test before using new products that you don't know about. Please don't say we didn't warn you. So, a little bit more. It, the amla that's included in this can help to prevent graying of hair. Rita is good for hair health and overall health. And then Shikai Kai promotes hair growth and strengthening of the hair roots. In order to apply this, it says to make a paste of this powder with the ratio one part powder, three parts water. It should give you a mixture that's a little bit like yogurt. You put it on your hair, wrap your hair with plastic, leave it on for an hour, and then you wash your hair until the water runs clear. The ingredients in here, it's amla fruit powder, Rita fruit powder, and shikai kai. That's it. It's Cosmos certified organic by EcoCert Green Life, and a certified 100% organic by, and 100% natural total ingredients from organic farming. Let's get started. It says once you open this, you have three months, which is a little sad, but normal for naturally derived products. So that means for the next three months, I'm going in. smells sweet it comes it's in this bag and then this bag is also sealed with another bag which is really important to help with freshness for natural products so this is what it looks like you might think it's hot cocoa hair treatment powder expires for a second I was hiding this like oh crap is it expired no it expires in September 2019 okay Let's get into it. So I'm going to just shake this so most of the product is at the bottom before I open it and cause a mess. One clean corner perfect let me go grab some scissors I'm trying to avoid any mistakes so I want to open this as little as possible just going to snip the corner uh, come on there we go so now that I have a corner open they didn't say how much they just give you a ratio because that I don't really know what I need so I'm just going to start with an eighth of a cup and I'll use one eighth of a cup of this and then three eighths of a cup of water one to three let's go
So the smell of this is really strong. It smells sweet. It's just really strong. Like I'm. Make sure you seal this back really well. So I'm going to fold this over. Squeeze the air out. Put it back in the package. And then, actually I'm going to fold it like this. Put it back in the package. Squeeze the air out of this. And then make sure the zip is sealed. An eighth of a cup of the powder. Like I said, the smell is sweet, but it is, I mean, it's its a potent smell. It's really strong. And now I need three eighths of a cup of water. So. Now that I have that, I'm just going to mix. Um, I originally got a spoon, but it might be easier with the fork so let's see i also don't know if this is similar to henna or anything like that where you might get um like color transfer this is my first time using it so because of that i'm being a bit careful so interestingly i feel like this is a bit watery but we'll keep going did i do this right now I'm wondering if it's three to one, but the other way. I'm gonna add a little bit more. I feel like it should be thicker than this to go on my hair. Let's be careful, no spills. Can't be wasting. I was wondering if this starts to like thicken up, but I don't think that's the case. So I'm gonna go in. Ooh, ooh shit. Shoot, shoot, shoot. That's what I meant to say. Okay, guys, I'm failing. Don't be like me. Do it right. So last time it was a little shy of the recommended amount, so I'm adding one more scoop. Not yogurt, but a little thicker. So I'm just gonna use one more. So this is essentially a one-to-one -one ratio. I'm starting to think I was supposed to use three scoops of this and one scoop of water to get more like a thick yogurt. So, note to self, don't be like me. Start small. And, but I think this will work. So, this is what it's like. It's, it's thick. It's more like a tahini. Or like coconut yogurt. Like a thinner one. Or just regular yogurt versus like Greek yogurt or skier or something. You guys didn't know I was like this, but I'm like your cheap grandma. Make sure it's all mixed, well combined, and that there are no, you know, dry spots on the bottom. That's why I use a glass container, so, so that I can watch that. I think it's okay guys and we're ready to go all right guys I'm back and now it's time for me to apply the mixture um, let's see so you can see oh I don't want to drop this so Trust me, but it's pretty thick. I think it's yogurt-like. I'm going to film it this way so you can see what's happening in the front and back of my hair. I just took my hair down out of a bun. That's why it looks crazy. I'm going to use just a rat tail comb, some hair clips. One other thing, I'm somewhat going to use where my hair is naturally parting, mostly because I don't want to, like, rip 
too much. My hair is really soft right now, but it does have some buildup. I haven't washed it in probably in like a week or so. You'll see that I definitely have multiple textures, so the front of my hair is kinkier and the back of my hair is straighter. It's not heat damage, it's just my hair being weird or normal since I think most people have a mixture of textures in their heads. Let's start with this section. So I'm just using my fingers to detangle a little bit and then I'll take the section like this and I'm just going in. It said it strengthened the roots so I'm starting at the roots and then working my way down to the ends of my hair. sections. I'm going to use as much of it as possible, but I may need to go make just a little bit more. So let's do this. I used it all. I'm going to make some more. Alright guys, I made a little bit more because I ran out for the back section of my hair. So I'll make up this much, you can see. I'm going to use this in the back and then smooth all over my hair. Let's uh, and I kind of got a little quick because I'm feeling this dries a little bit. Almost done. Just going to use this last bit, and like I said, I want to give my edges some love. We're done. This is what it looks like. Just want to see in detail. One thing I'll do is take these out so they don't take up space. This will stay where you put it somewhat. <sighs> Change my mind. Hair's not behaving. I'm gonna have to do this. So two seconds. I'm 
I'm going to keep this on for an hour. Clean my house, work a bit, and then I'll be back to wash this out. Hey guys, I was actually working from home today, so instead of doing this for one hour, it ended up being two. Hopefully that's not a bad thing, but now I'm about to hop in the shower and wash this out. I would say it did, like the part that wasn't covered, it got a little crusty, so it's kind of hard. Almost like you would see with a henna or even just like the Aztec clay. Take this off and see what we're working with. It's definitely warm. And it feels like it might be moist under here. Oh yeah, it's really moist underneath. You know what this smells? I like the smell of it. At first it was really intense with the powder, but it smells like sweet fruit. My hair is moist. Mm, a little sticky. We're gonna wash this out. I'll try to film that part. No guarantees, because I'm not a filming expert. So we'll see. Let's go. Oh, this is funny because you can kind of see the two textures. So you saw this stretched out before when I first applied it, but you see how much this shrinks and then you see how the back just like is completely different, which means when my hair is down it looks funny because this part always shrinks up and poofs out, and then this just goes like this. Cute, huh? Anyways, I'll be back in a minute. So I know this is all like a little light brown, wonder if any of this color stays, I mean would piss some people off of me. I'm cool with it. Oh, by the way, my forehead looks so big. I don't know why I'm saying it looks like it's not, but it's like really extra here. Thank you. See you in a minute. Bye. Turning off the shower for just a minute just to tell you a little bit about how my hair feels. My hair feels, it's not, it doesn't feel soft, it feels strong. I don't know how to describe the strong feeling, but it, feel, it feels healthy. It feels, actually, my hair, I tend to think it feels kind of thin. Definitely, I mean, look at it, guys. It looks full and healthy, it's still wet. So I need to condition. I'm gonna um, put some conditioner in just so I can like detangle a bit because you saw I didn't do that. But overall, I mean, I still have my short around the top, loose around the bottom situation, but my hair feels great. It feels healthy and strong. And we'll see once I style it. I do have a little bit of um, shed hairs, though not a lot. But yeah, so let's keep going. 